Hi everyone, Nathan here. Welcome back to part 5 of my Hypercube Evolution build. In today's build part, we'll be installing the Z axis and bed frame into the printer. Let's get started. Using two 415mm and two 255mm 2020 extrusions, we can start building the bed support assembly. For all the screws here, we are using 6mm M5 screws and M5 2020 T-nuts. We want to get one of the Z-axis bearing holders and pre-fit the screws and T-nuts in place like shown. Then we get one long and one short 2020 extrusion and orientate the bracket like so and tighten all four screws. Then we want to do the same for the other four corners. I am also going to fit 2020 corner brackets in each corner to make sure the frame is nice and rigid and square. Now we can fit two of the LM12UU bearings in each of the brackets. Finally, we can mount the two lead screw mounts onto the bed frame like shown. We want to keep these as central as possible to the bed support frame. Then we can fit the brass nut for the lead screw into the brackets. Next, we shift our focus to the smooth rods and lead screws. First, we want to fit the brass inserts into all the mounts. We then want to fit the four bottom smooth rod holders in place and fit the smooth rods. At this stage we don't want to fully tighten the holders in place as we need to be able to slide them around to fit the bed. Then we can carefully slide the holders until the bed assembly slides over the four rods and then we can install the top four smooth rod support brackets.
Next we can install the motors into the motor mounts, ready to fit on the frame. Now we can fit the motor mounts into the frame and then fit the Z-axis lead screws. That completes the assembly and installation of the Z-axis and bed support into the Hypercube Evolution. In our next build part, we'll be going over the wiring of the system board and hot end with a removable connector. Please be sure to like, subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when the next part of this build is made available. If you have any thoughts or comments on this video, please make sure you leave them in the comment section below as I want to make videos that help empower you to build and make anything. See you later guys.